com- I've heard so many engineers complaining about, oh, there's so many meetings. Uh, there's a the daily, there's the planning, there's the retro, and there's the occasional workshop and the management information meeting and so on. Um, but uh, when you look at their calendars, it might only consume three hours of their 40-hour week. Uh, the rest of the time, there's happily creating or coding, and but they have they have the social interaction going on with peers around them and team members, and there's a coffee or lunch break and whatnot. And that those social activities and interactions are so important. So I I think that you even when you're working remote, you mean you need to accept or be prepared for even more meeting time, just because the social dimensions and trust and communication and and co- also communicate communicating through video is far slower. Uh, when we see each other in, in face-to-face, we can read body language, we can kind of read how they're positioning and what they're believing about the topic, or uh, it's easy to inter- uh, interrupt people. You can either make a hand signal or just body language uh, tells everyone in the room that you want to say something. All of these things are so much harder when talking remotely, um, so meetings takes longer as well. But then again, so you might be prepared or accept the fact that you need to spend more time in the meeting. But then again, when you're not in a meeting, you're probably more productive because there's nothing disturbing you. So overall, you might accomplish as much, even though you're doubling the amount of time in video meetings than you, or meetings than you, usually. It's interesting, like video, uh, good video conferencing has improved things a lot over, say, just audio conference calls. Uh, because one thing that isn't obvious for, to, for the audience here is that due to a technical uh, technical thing, Jimmy doesn't actually have visual of me, uh, mm-hmm. which means that he cannot read my my visual cues, which are actually rather important. Because like when when you're when you're interviewing and talking to someone and you want to keep them talking, you tend to nod your head mm-hmm. to show that you are agreeing and like you like what they are saying. Uh, but that is completely lost in an audio audio conversation, which which kind of stops stops the flow. Body well, language is actually, super important. I can actually peek at the side here and look at the, your your stream, but I think there's a two second delay. Yep. So that's that would just confuse me. But even there's a lag even in the audio. We, we can try we can try an exercise. Let's count as fast as possible together. Okay. So every we say every second number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I don't know how you people is, uh, listening to the stream experience this, but I hear a uh, one second lag before MPJ says the next number, even though he feels like he's saying it immediately mm. when he hears me. Yeah, I feel the same. Uh, we uh, we do that. Uh, I actually do a similar exercise when we like when me and David did separate recordings uh, and just to do the audio sync. Which we realized was a super complicated problem to get get our things to to sync for that reason. So we developed a like very quirky process in order to do it. Interesting. Mm. No, because like it sounded perfect on our. I don't think it. I I can't imagine that it did because if we were in if we were in person, that would have taken us like we would be able to do that much faster. We would go yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But right now there's a delay where like the transfer goes. And that's what also makes it really, really tricky to jump in because you, you don't really want to interrupt someone in the middle of a word. Oh. You want to wait for a pause, right? You, or a good timing. And those timings, you they escape you all the time. So what happens is like I'm doing now. So what it's more common when doing remote meetings that the person talking just keeps on talking because there is no natural break or no one naturally jumps in. So long be- beyond when I've stated my point or made my argument, I continue blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dedicated here says, oh my God, the interrupt in video calls. Yeah, it's, it's really, really tricky. Mm. Uh, and I think that that is another thing that I think that people that do a lot of remoting develop this set of very subtle skills, like leaving a space in conversation, for instance. Yeah, what I've also seen, or what I'm promoting at least, is to, one, we want to invite everyone to the conversation. Mm. Uh, What's the easiest way to do that? Well, the easiest way to do that is be brief and to the point. Ah. 
if I'm brief and to the point and then pass on the word, it's pretty soon gonna come back to me anyway. And and you can also use uh, hand signals, like I want to talk, put, put in the speaking cue, or two hands could be, I have facts, mm. facilitator, let me interrupt. I have facts that and da or data that might alter the discussion. This is, I have an opinion. I want oh, to share my mind. I have the coolest idea for a video conferencing software. Imagine, <laughs> like, because like in, in Twitch chat, you have like, um, uh, I haven't gotten around to that, but you can add custom emojis just for your chat. So there's like fun, fun function emojis. And there is an internal language. And it would be really cool if you could add like internal sign language legend to um, uh, mm. to video conferencing. So for instance, like when you did that, that like there was actually AI uh, doing like doing that and like marking what it is. So you could like do things with your hands to overlay. I would love that. That wouldn't that when be so cool? When I raise so my hand, cool? I get the. I get a blip and the, the tool has automatically added me to the speaking queue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, like, yeah. it's also, um, uh, Isa is always going on about like how she uh, lacks in Sweden. Like in, in, uh, in Brazil, there is a set of hand signals that everybody knows uh, when you are ordering food. So like this thing where you do like draw a little bit in, in the air, that's for, I want the check please. So that the waiter knows, like if if they're interested in like, and so that it's would be so useful. That would be so useful, much better than a button. Mm. Yeah, let's have the hand air recognition initial. Yes, uh, I saw another comment flowing by. Um, how do you integrate someone who never says anything? Uh, I have two two three tricks, I guess. Uh, first, I make sure to. Uh, I uh, do a check-in round. Hi, before I go through the agenda and the topics, if it's a longer session, I make sure to do a check-in round. I'm giving everyone 15 to 20 seconds to reply to a comment. It might be, what's your state of mind? What's, what do you want to get out of this meeting? And I give everyone a chance. And I do this structurally. Uh, so it's not who shouts highest that gets to talk the most. I'm, I'm saying 20 seconds each and let's do everyone. Uh, and then the usual thing, uh, like when you do use post-its, you give everyone a chance to think for themselves for a few minutes, write down what they have in, on their mind, and then present to everyone. You can do the same thing digitally. So there's tons of different uh, online collaboration tools that uh, invite you to write post-its or notes or boxes or whatever. So give everyone ample time to think for themselves, write for themselves, and then, and then present. And then in the middle of this longer workshop uh, where people are kind of debating back and forth, you can, if you notice that it's just one or two or three people talking, you can say, stop, let's do a full round again. So I'm curious, what do people think of the progress so far? One at a time, everyone. So, because you never know if someone isn't talking, it's hard to know whether they're checked out, maybe they've lost interest yep. and don't care. It could be that, or they belong to the category of people who I have lots of things on my mind, but other people in the room are saying the most important stuff. I don't have to add. It won't contribute. Uh, the important things are getting said. I have nothing important to add. And that's a perfectly valid position to have. However, the other people in the room can't distinguish between, yeah, I, can, I agree, or I've checked out. So that's why I think it's important to do rounds and check in on uh, the silent people. Yeah, like I remember the check-in round with the thumbs up uh, thing where we just discuss for five minutes and then uh, check in with everybody. Like, do you want to continue the mm. conversation or not? The thumbs up, it's really, really good. Mm. The lean coffee oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, lean coffee is called, yeah. Penguin propaganda, wave a sports banner. That's interesting to just provide people with little... little f Hello. Uh, I hope you liked that clip that was from a live stream. Uh, I do live streams uh, every week, multiple times. You can watch them on twitch.tv slash fun fun function. Make sure you go there and uh, follow so that you get a notification in the Twitch app when we go live. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope you I catch you on the next live stream. And uh, until then, stay curious.